Hi guys, we have question 15. Uh, it's the example question, paper A. It's about renal physiology and it sounds in this way. Concerning water excretion on a renal liver. So I will get rid of options. The ascending limb of the loop of Henle is impermeable to water. It is correct. Chloride reabsorption from the loop of Henle occurs passively, not it is actively. It is actively. Uh, under conditions of maximum antidiuresis, 5% of water reabsorption occurs in the distal tubule. Uh, you can see uh, words like maximum and 5%. Maximum means a lot of water is reabsorbed at the uh, distal tubule together with uh, sodium. And it is wrong. Uh, option 4, ma the maximum medullary osmolarity or osmolality is uh, 800 milliosmoles per liter. It is wrong because uh, this uh, number is uh, much higher and dehydration induces aldosterone production it is uh, aldo uh, dehydration induced decrease in a uh, blood pressure and and this one induce a forward mechanism uh, called renin angiotensin aldosterone for uh, reabsorption of water and uh, sodium back for re-establishing re a uh, good uh, volumia. So many facts regarding renal physiology. We can uh, discuss uh, step by step even from uh, Bowman capsule and going forward. And of course vessels that coming or surrounding these tubules and they absorb uh, the components of uh, plasma bag and concentrate urine distally. So in a proximal tubule uh, most of the substances are reabsorbed chloride, sodium, bicarbonate and proteins and it's like 50 or 70 percent of all the substances are absorbed in this uh, area. Renal medullary interstitial fluid can be hypertonic to plasma and it can reach even uh, 1400 milliosmoles or usually 1200. The sending loop of Henle function is to absorb water and sodium chloride from the filtrate. It is a descending loop of Henle in times that in times that ascending ascending uh, limb or limb of loop of Henle reabsorb sodium and chloride in comparison reabsorb sodium and chloride both of them but uh, it is impermeable to water and urea in this uh, portion of the loop so it also reabsorb in a large, in a large amount uh, potassium calcium and magnesium so urea it is important uh, components that can pass through many tissues and it do not require a gradient especially if it is in a high uh, concentration here we have many links for accessing by self and studying have a great time and study hard guys